dilemma. Someone wrote to Miss Manners asking if they're right to be upset after their friend agreed to come to a party, then bailed. Twice in the past little while. All right, so should you always honor a social commitment unless there's an hear emergency? That? Hear that? Yes. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, one depends. One. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Yeah. What do you think, Jen? Yes, uh, I think that there's always a small group of people who organize a group outing to the movies or a party at their place mm -hmm. or a dinner, mm -hmm. and it takes a lot of work, resources, time, money, coordination, and an RSVP goes a long way. But I also think as one of the social organizers, that's who I am, people are gonna flake. So do your best to honor your word. I'm very black and white about that, but also be realistic, which is things do change. But at a certain point, it, Maybe they're just, Listen, that friendship's not gonna work. Let me introduce myself. Hi, my Hi. name's Andrea Bale. Nice to meet you, yeah. <laughs> I bail out of plans all the time. And let me tell you something. When you invite me, because I love a good planner friend, you guys are very special. When you send that invite, whether it's text or email, when I say yes, I mean it. I really want to go. But on the day, <laughs> I don't know what kind of day I'm going to have. And maybe it's a long day. Maybe I know I have an early morning the next morning and I don't want to like, oh, I don't want to do it. Or some of you just, just, you're just not there. You don't have the energy. Or maybe there's that one friend you're like, I ain't got it for her today. I just can't do it today. <laughs> so although you, the intentions are good, I think you should be easier on your friends who bail out. Very nice to meet you. Try maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Be there. Of course I'll be there for you and me. But I do have this one rule. If I make plans with just the two of us, I will never bail on you because I don't want to leave you by yourself. Mm. But if there's a group of five people or more, girlfriend, it's if You can slink away oh, unnoticed. No, notice. 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 It's We're true. We're gonna notice if you're not there. We're gonna notice. Okay, but feel free to talk about me. I'm fine. <laughs> I think the challenge is like I there, you know, there's especially when you have a large group of people and you have busy women, uh, moms, busy careers, etc. Mm. It is hard because we 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 are always trying to juggle about six mm. plates at the same time and not drop one. So I think having grace for each other absolutely is important. But if you always have that one friend, then I think it does probably, if you care about this person, and I presume you do, it probably warrants a difficult conversation, which is, listen, I notice that, you know, I invite you all the time and you do back out all the time. Do you want me to just stop inviting you? Because, you know, I'm planning. To your point, we have one friend in the group. She does all the planning all the time. She's That's taking the you? time. It's not actually me. Wow. No, it's not shocking. I know. I know. <laughs> like, wow. Yes, I thank God for her every day. And I would never, and I hate bailing because I know she's doing so much work. But if that one friend keeps doing that, I think you've got to do the respect and just be like, should we just leave you off the invite? Just say, keep Wait, me on, keep, keep me, me on. on. I don't want to be left okay, out. Okay, then she won't, she shouldn't be surprised if she stops getting invited. Okay, mm -hmm. is that woman, is that woman, does she have kids? No. Like, oh, okay. like I think, yeah, because that was what came yeah. to my okay. mind. <laughs> Sorry, that, well, I was going to say something, but I got nothing to say now. <laughs> that is one of the best things about having oh, by the way, a child. You, is hey, parents, you, we know when you use your yeah. children as an no, excuse. You oh, <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. No, that is good. But I mean, I can empathize. I'm with you. I love a bail. And actually, it did happen to me. <laughs> I love a bail, and I don't oh, mind good. if a friend bails. Oh. I, this happened to me during the film festival. I was all set to go to a party. My friend bailed at the last minute. And I was like, well, I'm all dressed up. I guess I'm going by myself. And so I went, I don't know who I was. I just decided I'm just going and I'm going to have a good time. Yes. Fun we Cynthia you came your out. Fun independent Cynthia who's free to do whatever she wants. If I'm in the right mood. So I do agree. Like, if it has to be in the right Until mood. Until that friend texts you, I miss you. When are we going to hang out? Come on. <laughs> right? Come on. Yeah. Hey, you. Come a bit closer. We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.